What's up, my friends? Welcome to Tuesday, November 30th, 2021. This is the last day of the month November. So the question to you, my friend, what are you going to do with today? Are you going to waste it? Let it pass you by? Or are you going to maximize this moment, my friend? There's no better time for you to do what you know you need to do than right now, my friend. So you need to get it done. In the meantime and in between time, right, I got a great message for you today. A tremendous message, right? But first, I got a question I want to ask you, right? What's something that everyone needs? We need it all the time. But unfortunately, most of us don't keep it all the time. It comes and it goes. What's something that comes to your mind about that, right? I'll help you out. Confidence. See, no one is perfect with confidence. It comes and it goes. To some people, it, it comes more than it goes because they've learned how to maneuver and they've learned strategies to make it stay more than it goes. So anyone that you know that's really, truly confident, you should pat them on the back because they earned that and they continue to work at that. So if you want to become more confident, you got to do the same thing, right? So ultimately, this is what I'm really trying to say, right? Confidence builds muscle. It builds muscle, my friend. Check this out, right? So in order for you to increase your confidence, right? You got to put yourself in many more situations that allow you to feel confident. Listen, and I'm not talking about situations in which you see what someone else is confident in. No. You got to look in the mirror, my friend. And let me give you another fact about confidence, right? You can be confident and afraid at the same time. But, but, your confidence has to be bigger than your fear, my friend. So here's the thing. Here's three strategies that can help you be more confident, right? Number one, you first gotta know where confidence comes from. Confidence comes from three places. Belief in God, belief in yourself, and belief in your preparation. That gives you confidence, my friend. Number two, you gotta then understand that confidence is an inside job. So what does that mean? It means nobody can take your confidence from you. I mean, what do they do? Go inside of your heart and say, give me that confidence and pull it outside of your body? No, no one can take your confidence from you. Confidence has to be surrendered. So what that's saying is that confidence is yours to give away, but nobody can take it from you, right? And number three, you got to develop a greatness mindset, a mind bold enough to believe, right? That confidence is having the ability to look your fear straight in the face and then step on top of it, right? Because you got to be bigger than your fear. It's okay to feel fear, but your confidence got to be superior to your fear, right? So in a nutshell, this is what it all comes down to, right? Protein is the building blocks. Sorry, amino acids are the building blocks of protein, right? The same way that confidence is the building blocks to success, my friend. Listen. Your confidence is yours to lose. So if you feel like when you're around certain people, you're not feeling as confident, or when you're doing certain things, you're not feeling as confident, that's your job to remove yourself or to remove those things. But don't allow it to drain your confidence because you can't blame nobody or nothing. Confidence is yours to lose, my friend. Never, ever, ever forget, right? That you're born to be great.